Hello, good evening. So today's topic is thyroid eye disease. Now, thyroid eye disease is a condition in which eye muscles, eyelids, tear glands, and fatty tissues behind the eye is affected and is inflamed. This condition is the cause is autoimmune condition. And what is autoimmune condition? Normally, immunity system is a condition where you defend the disease, you know, like bacteria, viral, and any other infection comes. The immune, immune uh, system fights with that disease. But here, in case of autoimmune uh, disorder, exactly what happens is the immunity cells or immunity power is affected with the normal cells. So, uh, there is a reaction to the normal cells and there is an inflammation in the normal cells. Now, in case of in case of uh, thyroid eye disease, most common eye signs or the symptoms are usually in case of hyperthyroidism. In hyperthyroidism, if you see what are the symptoms and the signs in case of hyperthyroidism or known as a Graves eye disease? To start with, uh, there is a symptom of pain in the eye. After that, usually whenever there is a movement of the eye, there is a pain in the eye. Just behind the eye wall, there is a pain. Conjunctival congestion is there. There is a lid edema. There is a redness of the lid tissues, there is a lid retraction, especially upper lid retraction. And in upper lid retraction, you will see your a condition at the top, you will see, here you can see this is a normal, normal eye, other eye is affected. Here you can see the upper lid is retracted. So this is a early sign in case of hyperthyroidism. The left eye, there is a retraction. In case of lid, other sign, if you see, known as a lid leg. So when the patient looks up and when the patient looks down, here you can see the right eye is there is a lid leg. That means along with the eyeball, the lid doesn't go along with the eyeball down. Still, there is a retraction. This is known as a lid leg. So this is also one of the symptoms of and the sign in case of hyperthyroidism. There's a uh, because of exposure, like little there's a fructosis, mild fructosis, and there's a conjunctival congestion and conjunctival chemosis, that is the edema of the conjunctiva. And afterwards, if you see there'll be a mild fructosis, and then the fructosis increases. Why this happens? Because the eye muscles, they, they are swollen. Just behind the eye, eye wall, you can see the four muscles are there. They converge near the optic nerve. There, there is a edema, swelling. And in many conditions, even the fat part is also increased. So that is the reason of your proptosis. Now, because of proptosis, you will see here, because of that, there is an exposure keratitis. That means because the Eyeball, the lids cannot be closed, you know, because of that there is exposure. And because of exposure, there is a corneal ulcer. And here again, the patient starts complaining of watering, pain, severe pain. And this is a severe condition. Whenever this happens, you have to go for surgery and you have to decompress the eyeball. So this is a very severe type of hyperthyroidism where you get this sign. And whenever the proptosis is much more, what happens is just behind the eyeball, because of the muscles, which is compressing the optic nerve, so which leads to optic neuropathy, optic edema, optic nerve edema, vision is reduced. So these are the two most common conditions, like exposure keratitis and optic neuropathy. It's an urgent, severe condition where you have to go for a orbital decomposition. And uh, before 
fructose is also sometimes it happens the ocular motility is affected and the patient may have stool. Now, what are the investi investigations you are going to do? You have to do thyroid profile where you are going to do T3, T4, TSH. You will come to know the function of the thyroid gland. You have to do CT of course, orbit where you will come to know whether muscles are edematous or there's lots of fat which is there behind the eyeball. Because when you do decompression, you will have idea whether to remove the fat or not. And uh, so you can go for MRI also. That will show you the fat amount. So initially, whenever there is a severe uh, hyperthyroidism, you have to go for a decompression. Decompression in that you are supposed to do uh, the wall of the orbit, medial, lateral, and the uh, superior wall is just taken out. Depends upon how much is a fructosis, and uh, there is a space for that one. And the steroid, which is having lots of side effects. Initial stage, you can just give lubricant diapers. So, this is regarding your Graves' disease, the ocular signs, and symptoms. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pushpa, for giving some uh, ideas here. And uh, I want to talk to you about homeopathic approach. And as you know, that one of the biggest pandemics in today's time, more than COVID, actually is a hormonal disorder, lifestyle disorder, and autoimmune diseases. And these cases have been increasing a lot all over uh, cosmopolitan cities and everywhere, actually. <clears throat> and in such kind of cases, and typically hormonal cases, homeopathy has some very beautiful results. The reason because homeopathy works at such homeopathy basically um, is a, is an energy medicine. It's 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 basically an energy, and and what we try to do is we try to match the energy with the remedy that we have. So we try to understand the person, um, the deepest state of the person, the deepest patterns of the person, how a person reach uh, this kind of patterns, how he or she perceives the world as, what are their deepest patterns, and this we do by going in depth and really understanding um, the, the person by deep case taking. The case taking itself in homeopathy is quite very, very cathartic. We try to start right from their childhood. We try to understand their childhood memories, how they kind of went through different, different traumas in their childhood, whatever they went through, how they reacted. <clears throat> we go through the different states of subconscious state, like the dreams, the fears. Very often, recurrent dreams are very important. We often ask, what are the recurrent dreams? The fears. The crisis moment, very often in hormonal and autoimmune diseases, what we try to do is we try to look at what is the, what is the basically the, the crisis before the pathology. And we try to go in depth in that area. We try to understand the constitutional state. The physical constitution. Some some people constitutionally are very very obese. Some people are very thin. Some people have a, a kind of disposition to more skin related issues. Some people have a disposition to have more uh, joint related issues. Some people have a disposition to have more glandular problems. So this is dispositions. Studying all this in depth, we actually find the homeopathic remedy for the person. <clears throat> and. Um, I've, in the last few years, in the last decade, we have treated a few cases of thyroid and of uh, other autoimmune and hormonal disorder and with, with some really satisfying results. I want to share with you some very interesting remedies which I've used. Maybe, um, maybe we can go to a few of these remedies. I wonder if I can change the slides. Can we go to the next slide? One of the biggest remedies is iodum. In fact, the entire iodum salts, the entire kingdom of iodum, which belongs to the mineral kingdom. And here I'm not only talking about iodum, but I'm talking about different, different iodums like calcary iode, sulf iode, magnesium iode, natrum iode, orum iode, every, every different salts here, synthetic compounds. The genius of iodum is, is the state of extreme restlessness, extreme increased metabolism extreme impulsiveness there's a, like a active metabolism metabolism is extremely affected along with that they are very restless they have a great hunger and they cannot tolerate heat 
emotionally there is a very interesting state of 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 being backstab someone has backstab them someone has betrayed them and to forget that they become very very busy they become very very impatient they want to do too many things at one point this is a very interesting kind of pattern of uh, iodum salts <clears throat> they get this terrible thoughts like ocd like thoughts i want to do this i want to do that you imagine someone backstabs you it's just like a big mental trauma and different different then uh, remedies of iodine are useful one of them is calcary iodide which is such an important remedy in uh, thyroid related problems one of the very important indication is thyroid problems which start during pregnancy calcary iodide another remedy is hydrastis canadensis so these two are very important remedies one very important remedy which i want to talk to you about is ephedrawal gargles so this is a very typical remedy for a thyroid related issue one of the very important symptoms for them is um, they have exophthalmic goiter with the eye having proptosis and exophthalmos this is very important the eyes have big proptosis and um, along with that there's a lot of extreme weakness and i think it's one of the most underused remedy in homeopathy for exophthalmic goiter what i found when i studied ephedra from a lot of proving symptoms from uh, from stephenson is that they have a state like phosphorus uh, they are very communicative they are very jesting they are talkative teasing witty they, they have a little state like phosphorus very communicative but at a deeper level they have this strong thyroid related pathology interesting so many more remedy you know kali iodide a great remedy where there is symptoms of kali symptoms of iodide both they are very abusive harsh people rough towards family members this is very typical for kali iodide <clears throat> so many sulf iodide this is another remedy where you see symptoms of sulfur which is that which is more to do with ego identity me insult and iodum you see both they are very indolent people this is very typical sulf iodide with this thyroid they become very very indolent total indolent don't want to go anywhere just be here no problem this is very typical state of sulf iodide <clears throat> zinc iodide another uh, iodine yeah. this is a typical dry cough tickling cough along with thyroid which almost reminds you a little bit of arsenic or spongia zinc iodide another interesting or amine orum iodide which is known as the most cheerful of all orums typically um, most of the orum iodide have thyroid uh, uh, disease which is connected to uh, often with cardiac disease this is where it reminds you of lycopus virginica and one of the last iodine there are many iodines we can go on for the next few hours to talk about it. this is arsenic iodide you see the state of insecurity fear of arsenic on one side and feeling of being cheated stabbed on another side ars iodide so many 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 remedies we can go on and i'm going to tell you one last remedy for today because this is part of my entire talk on how to treat um, endocrinological disorders like thyroid like um, uterine pathology pcod prolactinoma diabetes so many many different adrenal disorders we have an entire course actually for homeopaths where we actually train homeopaths into this we are doing one course here for for internationally where we are treat, showing how to treat female health related issues with homeopathy which is going on you can be a part of a secure homeopath <clears throat> sister scanadensis which is one of the chilliest remedy in homeopathy typically very very cold very very chilly with a spongy feeling in the in the thyroid and the feeling as if when they breathe they feel as if you know a lot of cold air is passing through it imagine how when you have a menthol how you feel inside that's a typical state of cystus canadensis and so on there is too many remedies i'm not going to tell you all of them but here along with homeopathy you have to understand that in the integrated treatment and 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 this integrated treatment along with homeopathy you want to also understand that we also give a lot of importance to lifestyle we give a lot of importance to sleep patterns diet pattern metabolism pattern exercise pattern food habits calorie intake we work this all this in tandem in our clinic here in mumbai 
homeopathy, diet, nutrition, all together. So if you know anyone who wants to really uh, take the um, homeopathy for thyroid, eye-related issues, um, and you are already taking allopathy, still you can connect to us and we can run homeopathy parallelly along with allopathy and hopefully later on taper it down or even purely we can treat it with homeopathy. So take benefits of homeopathy and integrative treatment in homeopathy in Mumbai here. You have my email ID here. You have all the contact details. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Pushpa, to share your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.